Hey, hey, hi, and welcome to the Why Why Guy Show. I'm Wyatt. This is Cracker. And on this show, we do movie reviews more often than not. And we have a concept where called Prelude to Review, where I make him watch a film he hasn't seen, but I know he's going to hate, and then he has to, once he's seen it, review it, or vice versa. Um, I just hit him with the movie Mindwalk, which nobody knows what I'm talking about, but he'll hate it. And then he hit me with Sidekick, starring Chuck Norris, a bunch of other people. But, uh, but the thing is, and then, I also have to watch The Last Outlaw with Mickey Rourke's face. So, so that's so, and it's really off-putting. It's so, 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 so weird. Two against me and one against you. So now it's his turn. To make it fair. One more, so they're nice and fair. Good. Which it's it's not fair. Does not mean equal. I go for the jugular. You you like you. Motherfucker, you make me watch Fart the movie this and is, Dune. This is like I don't know. This is. The, you're stabbing me with, with like a, a, a sword and twisting, and I'm blowing bubbles <laughs> with the, the bubble thing that I can't get to fucking work. That's what's happening here. My movies are like, oh, you're really kind of bored by this, but you can ignore it and forget about it later. And then you're like, here's this thing that's gonna change your heart. That's so, your own. It's your own dumbass fault, though. Anyways. Yeah. So, um, are you a fan of Lord of the Rings? The movies. I'll rate it. I'm there. Okay. Head. You know who Sean Astin is? The yeah. actor who played Sam? Oh, this isn't going well already. <laughs> Did this happen in the early 90s? This was an 80s movie. Late 80s? This was an 80s movie. 80s or Hold late on. 80s? And, you know, what are we talking in, about? Here? I don't know. Mid 80s. Are we talking Goonies or at post Goonies? Well, the thing is, I bring up oh Sean Astin because. Oh, my it, God. This can't be, no. It doesn't star Sean Astin, it stars his brother Mackenzie Astin that no one knows about. Yeah, who? Yes, bro. Mm -hmm. Mackenzie stars Mackenzie. Yeah, that movies? no one knows about. It's in the mid '80s. It's but we know who's a full name. It's a is. full. How could you fucking not know who Clint Howard yeah. is? Let's look at him. Anyways, it came out in the mid '80s, based off of a trading card phenomenon. What? <laughs> okay, so it's not what I was thinking of, but it could be worse. You are watching the Garbage Pail Kids movie. <laughs> Sean Austin was in this. <laughs> Mackenzie asked. Oh, is your daughter asleep? Fuck. You are watching the garbage pail kids movie. Your child is in the other room sleeping. Or this would be the most. We'd be getting gig for that YouTube helpers. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> There's the basic plot. There is a plot. There's a plot. Mackenzie it, asked. Is there really a it's plot? It's kind of like. Let's think of Back to the Future. Mackenzie, Mackenzie asked. Him, asked it's a is guy. His, Mackenzie is a boy. Don't, don't ask me. Ask his, you know, his He's parents. a ginger, isn't he? No, he's blonde. He, it's kind of like Back to the Future, where it's a young kid who hangs out with this creepy old man. So he hangs out with like a magician. Dark Brown was creepy. Yeah. Think of it. Okay. <laughs> I don't want Mackenzie to hangs out with this old magician. <laughs> and he helps hey, out. Hey, everybody, we're going back in time. <clears throat> Right, he sorry. hangs out with this magician at the magic shop, you know, like sweeps the floors, shit like that. And Who's sweeping the floors? Like uh, Mackenzie Aston. It's like sweeping the floors. And is that a metaphor like toss a salad? It could be. You'll find out. Okay. Now, the basic plot is Mackenzie Aston opens up this garbage pail. That thing that Mr. Magician says, don't ever open up the garbage pail. And out pops out all these garbage Time pails. Out. You know I'm a custodian, right? Yeah. And out pops all these garbage pail kids. And you know what they look like. They look like yeah. the very garbage pail kids very was a trading puppetry. card sticker Midgets. that came out in the 80s. It was basically like an FU to the Cabbage Patch Dolls phenomenon. Yeah, it was like, it was pictures of this Cabbage Patch Dolls doing disgusting things. So out pop all these Cabbage Patch, you know. Garbage pail kids that look like retarded cabbage pets towel. You have the greaser. Are there tits in it? No. <laughs> you have this greaser character. What a bomb it was. Oh, speaking of that, just wait. You have this greaser character who wears a jacket and hair slicked back and he's got a switchblade and he talks like he's in the 50s. You have Alligator, who is this crocodile alligator looking creature who always eats, you know, disgusting things. You have... Is it spelled Alley like... A-L-I. Gator. Between mm -hmm. a block? Probably. 
You have um, this one baby looking character who's got bad breath and smells like rotten onions. You have this one character covered. Like babies, kids. <laughs> You got this one character who's covered in zits, and his thing is he always pees his pants. You got this ugly, bitchy woman character. Naturally. There's probably I don't know, a couple others thrown in. I was just going to mention Emma Watson, and then he beat me to it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and Since the basic, the, the basic part. Just now, what would you think the me. plot is? You think you probably think the plot is Mackenzie tells him, hey, you're disgusting. We'll be friends. We'll teach you to look at the good in, in yourself, right? Sure. Yeah. No, the basic plot is Mackenzie Aston is in love with this one chick, and the garbage pail kids help him help her with her fashion designing career. Time, 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 time. How old is Mackenzie? Uh, I'll is say it? 12. And she has a fashion. She's probably life? like 17, 18. And she has a job? She's trying to become a fashion designer and fashion Oh, model. so it's not something she... Because for a minute there, I was like, pedophilia. Pedophilia. And he's in love with her. Yeah. So he gets the garbage pail kids to help create, like, her fashion line. And by the end of the movie, she's having, you know, a fashion show. He, he, and they get he, involved in hilarity and He gets them to help her? Yeah. So he can get his dick wet? Pretty much. Okay. And there's a side story. I can play along. There's a side story where he's being picked on by her boyfriend. She has a boyfriend? Yeah, she, he's like, you know, stereotypical asshole. Is he played by Clint Howard? <laughs> that would be awesome. No, I would love if Clint Howard was played by, if Clint Howard was playing like the crazy. play a garbage pail. <laughs> I would want him to play like the crazy magician. Yeah. Yeah, who plays the crazy magician? Oh, some old dude. Why is that a crazy magician? Because it's garbage pail kids. It doesn't make sense. There's a, there's this scene. Who does, is it? Is it? I can get it up on my phone. But there's a there's this scene where the garbage pail kids they they is they it go. Morgan, to, I think Morgan Freeman. I think they go to like a bar and of course start a riot in a bar with a bunch of bikers. The, the garbage pail. Kids? The garbage pail kids do. Garbage pail kids. The movie. Are the bikers live action people? Yes. This is a live action movie. This is a live action movie. It's called Garbage Pail Kids. The movie. Isn't there just a Pee-wee's Big Adventure? No, Pee Wee's Big Adventure was fun. Here, here you go. Here, look at this. No, he goes to a bar and he starts a fight with a bunch of bikers. Yeah, I know. I'm familiar with their aesthetic. Like, knee jerk reaction. Holy fuck, what am I wrong? This came out in 1987. So they're the Kmart of Cabbage Patch. That's exactly. Only it's more like they're the herpes of Cabbage Patch. Oh, you're going to wish you had herpes after this because this is. I can't wait. Um, there is a montage. I'm going to watch a movie that's going to make me wish I had herpes. With oh, like, okay. Just like the herpes all over the person, the garbage pail kids. Okay, whatever. And what's what? great is there's like another side story okay. where like these dog catchers try to capture the garbage pail kids. Is this like a B plot? So like the garbage no, this pail is, over here? This is like, totally this, is like, thing? this is like an S plot. Like okay. So, they capture the garbage pail kids and they take them to like a prison for unattractive creatures. It's a real thing. They're standing like in prison along How with. How many rapes are in this? <laughs> they already have the weird old magician. They're standing in a prison. In you know, sad and it says, old magician. It says like garbage pail kids like at the top of it. And they're standing next to like Santa Claus and Easter Bunny and like a homeless person. That was a pet in Oswald. He was referenced earlier. I don't care. Pat Oswald is a garbage pail kid if you look at him. Yeah, he is. Yeah, him and Clint so, And the basic, like I said, the basic point of this film is tolerance. Just because you're ugly and you piss your pants and you're covered in zips, <laughs> be proud of who you are. This is where liberalism, liberalism is going to be. I can't wait till you get to the montage of them working on all the dresses and they're singing this wonderful song. About being garbage pill kids and working together in You're harmony. You're gonna learn so much from Mindwalk. It's gonna improve your life. I might <laughs> just shoot myself in the face. And I already have a gun. I got a question. Which one are you gonna watch first? Are you gonna watch Sidekicks first or Garbage Pill Kids? Oh wow. Huh. That's kind of like where do you want your cancer? I mean, it's... <laughs> There's a very esoteric joke from Wise Kids You Know. 
I'll take stomach cancer. Joke, somebody might get that, and if you do, you're awesome. I would probably have to watch Garbage Pail Kids first. To make the blow of Sidekicks worse. And then, at least in Sidekicks, I have the Wonder Years girl. She's not legal in the movie. (laughs) How close to legal are we? Not close enough to feel better. Which Harry Potter movie is Emma Watson at? Because it's somewhere I don't even know her for. It's not good. At, okay, in the first one, but you know. I'm glad this channel's back. <laughs> oh. So, Garbage Pail Kids the movie. Wow. So I have to deal with Mickey Rourke's face. I should have known it coming, man. Oh, and I got more. I should have known. I got man. more, but oh, the, the I got something worse than Garbage Pail Kids. No, you don't. Yes, I fucking do. You lie. I fucking do. But this is about Garbage Pail Kids. This is about his torment. This is about my pleasure that the Whitey the White Guy show has returned for our preludes to review. Yeah, you're so happy. I really am. You get to fuck with people and say this. I do. This is fun. And I just can't wait. There's nothing. The thing is, if I I I had made you watch this. Fucker, you made me watch Dune I know. and Fart the Movie. Yes. So here's the thing. You didn't even watch Fart the Movie. I've sat through Garbage Pail Kids. That's my point. So, but uh, how did you feel about Garbage Pail Kids? Um, it had its, it's funny saying it had its charm. It's, <laughs> it's 80s. I don't even know who it's, you are. It's 80s schlock. You need a few of these. Oh, yeah. What do you got? You need a few of these. Let's show the people. Now we're going to get copywritten. Thanks a lot, Dick. No, no. I'm going to need something a lot more potent. And I'm going to need some moonshine or some white lightning or some straight fucking Epsom. Or just a few lines of Coke. To watch Garbage Pail Kids, the movie. <laughs> Mackenzie Aston, you'll hate him because he's just an annoying whiner. You're going to hate the, the main chick that he falls in love with because, A, she's not that pretty, and B, she's a bitch. Garbage Pail Kids making clothes... For a fashion show, bunch of gross out jokes, crazy uh, magician, okay, montage with singing, yeah, bar fight, creepy animatronics with their faces. Did they all at least like die horribly or something? No, they live. Spoilers, they live happily. It would be all okay. Well, I will say this: the alley, the alligator character, he does actually look cool. I think they spent all the money on him, making him look like an alligator, and then the rest of them just went to shit. Money? <laughs> they had money. No, they didn't. Oh, uh, you won't know until you watch. Okay. Still, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I gotta go right with screenplay. Like it's this, but then they all end up dead. It's not Hope everyone lives happily. Not the way it should be. You know, some some Muslims come in and blow everything up, screaming a la snack bar. And all that. <laughs> uh, so, what do you think? I'm going to hate it, man. Are you serious? <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to hate He's going to be like, Mindwalk was kind of annoying at times, but, you know, I learned about systems theory, and there was a guy in Tim Waters, there was John Hurd. He's okay. And then I'm going to like, I'm going to be giving myself the Harry Carey. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit there and watch a Cubs game from 86 and drink a beer and eat a hot dog until I die from it. You're going to want to slowly, this is going to be like, this is going to be worse than Harvard the Duck. I think, oh, <laughs> are you fucking I think this might be the 1978 Star Wars special. Shut your mouth. I think it might. Hey man, just come under the frame. I think it might. And I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Pearl Jam reference. If you get any of my references, you are about the coolest person in the world. I happen to be the coolest person in the world, so you're close. The coolest person in the world will be watching the Garbage Pail Kids movie. And <laughs> so. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, are we done? Yeah, I'll fuck it. Yeah. And I go home now. Like and subscribe. Watch you his are page. The, you are the crazy old magician. Woo-hoo. You like the weird. Good, they should have. They should have now. Why?
stop going hanging out with that crazy magician. Rapes little boys. I'm like, I'm 34, and they're like, it's still dangerous. <laughs> and yet you still do. And the best part is, I've said this in every video. This is your concept. Oh, no. It's like this is your concept. The prelude to a review. Hey, hey, guess what, Cracker? Have you ever seen Best of the Best? No. I got yeah. a new idea. I'm gonna tell you about a film you might hate. You gotta watch it. And blah blah blah. Who's regretting that now? I need to get that clip. Who's the guy who did Silence of the Lambs and he ate the people? Was Anthony the Hopkins. His name? Anthony Hopkins played Hitler in a movie. I've mentioned it before. Came out in the eighties. And there's a bit where he's sitting in a table with a bunch of, like, the blonde lady mm -hmm. and then some other Nazi family. Like, she's having a little tea party in, in, in the bunker, you know, just a couple days before it's all over. And he knows he's lost. And he's sitting there in absolute misery. And they're having their little tea party because they're oblivious that they're going to be dead in a few hours. And he's not, he's just like... With my tea party and your I took life. over the world with my great ideas. I'm Hitler. And she's like, would you like a crumpet? He's like, fuck your crumpet. And then a couple hours later, he shoots himself. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I'm Hitler. Because Hitler could have just been like, I'm in charge of Germany. Jews leave, but nobody dies. And nobody would care. Instead, mm. he did this. And now he's suffering. For and that's where I'm at. It's like, I could have just been like, let's just watch movies. It's fine. I had to go, no, I have this awesome idea. It's called <laughs> The Holocaust or Prelude to Review. And now I'm the one suffering. You know what the funny part is? Because I was never like, my choice in movie, your choice in movies are going to infinitely be more painful to me than my choice in movies can ever be painful to me. I will give you credit. A million Ways to Die in the West. Yes. Part the movie and do it. I were, would have never called it A Million Ways. Those were home runs against me. Seth, Seth McFarland's made more shit, more shit, dude. And it's coming right at you, buddy. That's I'm fine. Dro I'm dropping napalm on you. Sorry, ass. Go right ahead, because I still have one in the back of my head. I know it. you. You do. You don't have one. You have a house filled with shit. I don't own this video that I that we're talking about, because we, I refuse we, to own it. We do need to do a thing. I don't need to do it because it's going to wander around your house with glass and memorabilia and things in the backyard. And, you, you know, and you're like, and then you need to watch this. I need you to watch this, and I'm going to be like, you need to watch the HBO miniseries John Adams, because that's the shit I watch. And you'll be like mildly bored and irritated. And you'll be like, there's too much Dutch angle in. And then your stuff, I'm just like stabbing out my throat with a, with a pen. I'm glad you're back. Yeah, did you miss me? Kind of. It's been a while. I missed this concept, at least. Yeah. So, everybody, welcome back to the Whitey the White Guys show. It's good to be back. I'm Whitey. This is Cracker. Um, you know. Garbage Bell Kid. Vote Trump. <laughs> you know, bring it into my pain. So, like, actually, vote Hillary. She'll get us all killed soon. So, um, as long as you watch the movie first. Yeah, as long as we. <laughs> it's like, I got bad news. We got to nuke everybody and they're all going to die. And it's like, okay, but you guys watch that fucking garbage pails kid. First, because you're a sick fuck. Oh, this is great. Put it this way: I would own Garbage Pail Kids. The next film on your list, I would not spend a fucking. I've been on. I've been holding back. That's your problem. That's your own problem. On a film that is gonna alter your psyche. I I because you know I I can't watch people burn to death. Bring it out. You're not holding shit back at all. <laughs> you're just like, yeah, it's coming. All right. Good journey. Good journey. Like, subscribe, and good, good journey. journey. You're fucked.